I'm Mirabel Mfike Langong from Cameroon and I'm 29 years old. Uh, I was born in Kumbu, northwest region of Cameroon and I am a feminist advocate working on women's issues, specifically equipping women with leadership and business skills as my way of engaging them, encouraging them to be part of leadership and also contribute to nation building. We have a percentage of 9 to 4 percent of boys in school, 80 percent of girls in school. But now the problem comes in this way, it is where there is disparity. Of these 80 percent of girls, 40 percent of them actually drop out of school before they actually get to the ages of 16. And then 31 percent get married before they reach 16 years or 18. I use my voice because I had to work hard to get my voice heard as a girl. In the community often I was told not to speak in some situations when a man is speaking. Or in school, boys always had this thing of telling us, you're a girl, listen to us. So it was very vital for me to have my voice. Being part of the Mandela Washington Fellowship has been a, an opening for, it's been a window for me to expand my knowledge on the intercultural communication, uh, meeting people from other cultures, learning, which helps me to communicate with others, share with others, respecting their feelings without hurting them, because every culture has its own interpretation of everything. When we uh, studied on constitution building at Montpellier, I understood how constitutions are made, the importance of engaging the population and myself in the constitution. And it helps me to go back home with a better understanding of constitutions and shows me how to get involved, the stakeholders to work with, to have my voice and the voice of the women I speak for reflected in constitution building. Also, I've had to have collaborations with some really great people who love what I'm doing and they look forward to working in partnership with me while I'm back home and it's a great takeaway. And the, one of the amazing takeaways was that I met the first lady last Tuesday and I talked with these girls at the Girl Up Summit. They were so happy. I was happy I had that opportunity to share with the girls and to meet the first lady. It was amazing. I loved it. Some youth feel that they are from Africa, it's a limitation, it's not a limitation. Being part of uh, resources that are not yet exploited should be an advantage. And I call on every youth to be focused because most of them, when you get closer to them, you find that they have talent, they have skills and they are so, so enthusiastic about these skills at the level of small communities and most of them only need exposure. Being part of the presidential precinct is a strong backbone to all of our initiatives and also a lifetime support for our initiatives that we are carrying back to Africa.